Hey, what's up? My name is Justin, and welcome to 65 Drums. Today's another episode of 65 Questions, the weekly Monday show where I just answer different questions people have about the world of electronic drums. So the first question came from a video that I did just the other day about the brand new Roland TD-1 drum set. It's Roland's first set for about $700 featuring all mesh pads. A pretty big deal for them because they used to dangle that feature at like $1,200. People had different opinions about it, but one really interesting comment was from this guy who said, hey Justin, why do you even bother with lower end drum sets? At the end of the day, they're still just toys. I wanna to talk about this question because I think it's pretty darn important. On the one hand, you could say that $500 drum sets, $700 drum sets, even $300 drum sets, they're all just toys and we should just ignore them. I guess there's some people that have to buy it, but who cares? The rest of us are gonna buy the legit stuff. Why do I cover drum sets that are like $350? I've actually done really, really spec heavy, in-depth videos about $500 drum sets. Why do I care about the lower end gear that some people call toys? The first reason why I care is because those are the kits people are actually going to buy. Just because there's a few insane people out there like me or you who are willing to spend $4,000 on a drum set doesn't mean that's the average electronic drum buyer. For example, when I was 19, I saved up all this money. I bought a Roland TD30K. It was almost four grand. I actually had to put off buying a car so I could buy an electronic drum set. It made no sense and I probably shouldn't have bought it, but I did anyway. But I am not the average electronic drum buyer. I am a nerd, so that's why I bought a really nice high-end version. But the average electronic drum buyer, they have somewhere around three to $1,200 to spend on a drum set. And because those people are looking for the best options at those prices, someone out there has to make videos talking about the best kits for $500. The second reason though, is that I don't wanna become an electronic drum snob. It's way too easy to slowly start looking down on people that buy cheaper stuff. I don't wanna become that guy in the forums or in the Facebook groups or in the comment section that laughs at anyone who buys a $500 electronic drum set. And the more selfish of these reasons is reason number three. I cover cheaper gear because you know what, if I only covered $2,000 drum sets and up, I wouldn't be able to make that many videos. Let's be honest, the more money you're willing to spend, the less options you're gonna be choosing in between. Personally, I only buy used electronic drum sets of a certain caliber. I, I'd rather save up my money to get something that will last a long time and will sound good a few years from now. That's what I would do. So jumping ahead to question number two, Neil writes, hey Justin, I'm just wondering how do you get the gear that you review? Do you buy it all or do manufacturers send you the gear to demo? Or do you beg, steal, or borrow from a local store? So welcome to the world of running a YouTube channel. Now you wanna review something, whether or not that's cars, whether or not that's cell phones, whether or not that's drum sets, you gotta get the stuff to review somehow. And uh, it's kinda complicated when you're a smaller channel because no company is gonna send you squat. You're basically just gonna have to buy everything and then review it or go to a store and play it and then make a thoughts video. And I've done all of those things. Companies have given me stuff, companies have let me borrow stuff, and I've also just bought stuff and reviewed it on my own. Let me give you a couple of examples. Drum Tech has given me a bunch of different things. They've given me a full set of design series mesh heads, a full set of uh, real feel mesh heads, and they're just letting me keep all that stuff. Sometimes a company will give you something and say, don't worry, don't send it back, just keep it. And then other times a company will loan you a product. For example, ATV let me borrow a 85 drum module for about a solid month. Maybe it was two months, I can't quite remember. So I got it in the mail, I hooked it up to my Roland TD30K, I played it for a really long time, and then I just mailed it back to them. D-Drum did the same thing, they sent me one of their like $300 electronic sets. Again, these are really old videos that I'm mentioning. I played it for a month and then I mailed it back to them. And then there's the third option. If a company doesn't give something to you or doesn't let you borrow something, you can always just buy it yourself. So I've bought things. For example, I've bought... And then of course the third option is just to walk into a store, play it, and then give your opinion on it. I've done that too. Just get your hands on as much gear as you possibly can and make a video about it. All right, so the next question comes from Marco who writes, Hey Justin, I've been following your YouTube channel for some time now, ever since I started gathering info about electronic drums. Back in the day I owned a Roland TD12 and it was great but I moved to a different country and I've decided to buy a new drum set. Ideally, I would like to buy a Roland TD30, but it's not the easiest to find one anymore because it's not being made currently. My question is, could you recommend a few websites apart from eBay to find good deals? This is a really good question because most people don't even consider buying electronic drums. 
I really have no idea why. Most people buy a used car. Why wouldn't you buy a used electronic drum set if it's in really good condition? You can save quite a bit of money. And one other interesting thing that I've noticed is that for some reason, it's suddenly starting to dawn on people that the TD30 isn't being made anymore. The moment the Roland TD50 came out, the TD30 was dead. I remember they were pretending the Roland TD30 was still an important part of our lineup and we, we still support it, which they do, but it was, it was pretty much dead to them because they have to focus on the new latest version of whatever it is they're working on. So the TD30, it's harder and harder to find in stores. You might find it from some random website somewhere, but you're gonna have to buy a Roland TD30 used or in brand new condition off of eBay or some other website. As far as like marketplaces, places to buy used stuff, here are the best ones that I know of personally. The first one is eBay, but you said you don't care about eBay, so we're gonna skip past that one. The next one is called Reverb.com. It's a great website for buying used music instruments. That's really what they specialize in. You can find so much different stuff on Reverb.com, some really obscure drum sets sometimes. And believe it or not, another great website is Facebook because now they have Facebook Marketplace. I think that feature has been out for like, you know, half a year or maybe a year or something. It's, you can sell socks, you can sell cars, you can sell drum sets on there. It's basically eBay, but built into Facebook. And I really, really like it because there's a lot of people selling their stuff that they don't really know the true value of it. So if Facebook Marketplace is a great place and you know the actual person you're buying from, it's not like on Craigslist where they have some random username. You actually see a real photo of their face, you know who you're buying from, and uh, you can find a lot of great deals. One time I saw a Roland TD15K for like six or $800, which is a really good deal for that drum set. So I would also take a look at Facebook Marketplace. And then the final place is obviously Craigslist. Craigslist has been around for years and years. You can find a lot of great deals on Craigslist. Um, one last thing I want to mention, there's a lot of people that they've invested quite a bit of money into their drum set after the fact. So they might have bought a Roland TD30, but then they bought a few extra cymbals and then maybe a drum throne and maybe a kick drum pedal. They're selling you the whole bundle and they're going to try to get like $7,000 from you or something stupid like that. Just be really careful when you're buying used gear because people are trying to get way too much money out of you because they think their gear is worth more than it actually is. Eventually, you always end up finding a really good deal. It absolutely never fails. There's always gonna be a desperate musician. Musicians are always running low on money, so they're gonna be selling their Roland TD30K or their TD50KV or whatever the heck it is. So yeah, buying used is absolutely a great idea. Okay, so that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions you want answered on the next Q&A, leave those in the comments down below or just message me on Facebook. Have an amazing day, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a few. Thank you.